autographs, and now the counterpart does the same. So it's Skaya Seves, Jan Sokolova, your top three as the world champ takes the ice. Shizuka Arakawa. She's been ill during her stay here in Moscow, had a fever on the day of the short program, and she has stayed in Japan recently to train, so she has not been with her coach, Tatiana Tarasova. Third place after the short. She too is skating to the music of Peter Tchaikovsky, Romeo and Juliet. Very popular piece this year for some of these ladies. The gold medal at the NHK Trophy in Japan. She withdrew from Grand Prix Paris to remedy her skate problems. She under rotates that triple Lutz down to assist herself around. So that will certainly be downgraded to a double. I heard Peter Carruthers talk about the boot problems, the skate problems, skated on an old left skate in Nagoya. The boot had broken. There you go. A difficult combination, again, some cheatedness on the, the latter side of that combination. But when you've got something that, that feels that different, how can it not impact your confidence in jumping? One thing that's great about Shizuka skating is how she is able to get into her knees and into her ankles. It creates such a smooth quality in all of her transitions in and out of the jumps. You can still see remnants of that, but not as strong as if she had this boot problem. Had not had this boot problem. Romeo and Juliet. Does she have staying power, do you think? I mean, she's the world champ. We talk about her as being the best in the world, but that was off of a year that saw her coming eighth in the year, in the world, excuse me. That's quite a jump in one year. Is it going to last? Well, you could never underestimate Shizuka, I, but I think there's a confidence issue. I don't think that she really believes that she has the qualities and the staying power herself. I'm not convinced that she feels that. Coming into the season, she's looked more hesitant. And it's much harder, and we've said it before, being on top and trying to stay there, especially being up against this guy who's got that hunger. jumping ability and the speed and the quality of her skating and here really only three clean triples a lot of cheated jumps under rotated and you can see in her face that that's not 
at all what she was looking for. Very hesitant look in her face mm. at the end of this program. The world champ Suzuka Arakawa come back to check her marks in just a moment here in Moscow. Her work is done in the kiss and cry Suzuka Arakawa. Very stone faced and stoic right now because she knows uh, what a great performance. And this is a mistake she doesn't ordinarily make on the triple last jump. Watch how she two foots right here. So the free foot's coming down to sort of assist. And she's not even able to make that into a combination. She wanted to do a double toe loop on the end of that. This is her triple triple combination. The triple sow cow into a triple toe loop, which is also under rotated, will probably just be counted as a double. So that's un unusual for Shizuka. Now Arena Slutskaya. She's got the leading total right now, but you almost want to forget about that. 183.02, she's not going to make a run at that. Sebastian is in second, 155.06. That's the number she's looking at. 98.82, that's a little bit behind Sebastian. And 155.52, that's enough though. Less than half a point, the margin between Arakawa and Yulia Sebastian. Shizuka, although I don't think she realizes it at this point, she has just captured the silver medal, and in the grand scheme of things, it knocks Angela Nikodinov out of the Grand Prix final. The U.S. Marina Slutskaya hugs all around because she has won her second consecutive gold medal in the series this year. What a comeback season it has been for the Russian veteran. So your final results, Lutskaya, then Arakawa by the smallest of margins. Ahead of Yulia Sebastian, Sokolova disappointed with that fourth place finish. The winner is with Peter Kuro.